Hey, you guys, coming up later on Half Baked, we've got pizza. I'm going to show you guys how to twirl a pizza for real. So stay tuned. Half Baked's coming up in a little bit. Um, welcome you guys today on Half Baked. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be cooking a pizza. I have one actual pizza crust. It's not a crust yet. It's going to become a crust. I've got a thing of pizza dough. It's cool. And uh, we're going to be cutting a... I keep saying cutting, but I really mean cooking. Maybe I'll just cut up a calzone. We're going to be rolling a fatty today is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> we're going to be like... <laughs> Just kidding, but what we're really doing is we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing pizza with peppers, green pepper, peppers, and more peppers. <laughs> Don't go away. Welcome back, you guys, to Half Baked. Um, our very first thing that we have to do before I even talk to you about anything else is preheat this oven. Um, this is obviously not a pizza oven, so we'll put it, bake, bake at like 450. We need this thing hot or else it's going to take forever to cook. Okay, so you guys, what you want to do is sprinkle the flour around so that you can, so you can with it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so you can start kneading. You don't really need to, I don't know. I've seen them do a lot of things. I'm going to try to do all the things that I've seen people do at a pizza place. I know that they just go like this to start. And then they kind of like, they kind of just hit the outsides first. You know, just like get fingerprints all over the place. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to pop like that, really. Um, and it's not supposed to do this. It's supposed to be, like, attached. So you just, we might have to bring up the staple gun again today. Okay, so I think you just kind of do this, and then you start, like, flop. Let's get some flour on the other side, just in case. That's kind of like a zit right there that's not supposed to be there. We need, whatever, we'll get that. I've seen them cut off the ends, too, so they kind of start going like this. I don't know if it's, like, a cloud, but they like smack it against their hands and then they're like, hold on, I think they really, yeah, it's like the whole dough moves around without them like, and they come back and they're like pushing it like this. I I'm getting, I'm getting the feeling right now that this pizza is going to be really weak. You guys, I am not Italian, so I'm not going to try to pretend I know how to like swing this around and make it perfect. So I'm going to use a rolling pin. <laughs> this thing sucks, man. This thing's not doing anything. I might as well make like an M for Matt. This looks like elephant skin. I'm, a, I'm about to just end up making like garlic knots or like those, those little things that it's like pizza frites, you know? I'd like to do that show. Would you guys like it? Like carnival life? <laughs> Man, I'm serious. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get this thing. It's like, I can't get it to open up. This is what we're doing, you guys. Cut for a sec. This is Mike. He used to be a professional pizza twirler. He's like over here pissed off at me because I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't realize you had to knead it first. Well, you gotta get back into a round shape. Oh. Because it's not round, you end up with that big crevasse. Oh, right. But that's exactly what I had. That's why I was putting dough in it. See, it's still there. Do you want some more flour? No, it's still there, but we'll just, we'll make it round. I get it. <laughs> okay. Ah. There. That's why I came round. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, this is round. Why don't I mess it up? And then we'll, then we'll have Mike come in and do it. Mike, you're cool, right? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we got it warm because we've been you okay. know, touching it. <laughs> do, do you still do you see it coming back? Do you see how it's like, no, like as soon as yeah. you like flatten it out and you're okay, like, now. okay, we're getting close. It's like, Want to work around the outside with like putting your knuckle under and making it stretch itself, and then Ooh. when we get to a certain elasticity, elasticity, 
I am so impressed. Let me try that so that people think I'm not a loser. <laughs> you guys, I can totally do that. That's no problem. It's like, yeah. It's not quite spinning as much, but yeah, it's working. And then, then the, don't they yeah, go like this? Your, yeah, just put your knuckles under and let it stretch on your knuckles. Try what get, is it? Try to get the outside to uh, stretch a little too much. Yeah, I'm about to break through. You guys, let's hear it for Mike! Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Know what I'm saying? So you guys, basically, now that Mike's done this, I'm gonna stop because I'll screw it up. So what we're gonna do, no, excellent. Keep it going, Matt. Go. Wrap it up. All right, um, that's a wrap. No, you guys, Mike has brought us to the place. We're gonna make a small pizza. Anyways, that's the order I got. A small pepperoni, green pepper, mushroom, and onion. So here's our small pizza. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna come back, dress this thing up, and throw it in the oven. Don't go away. Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, I never did figure this out. Mike did it all. I'm so bummed to have to admit that, but uh, we blew, uh, oh yeah, we blew the flour off this side. That's kind of cool. We'll make it circular. Um, now we're gonna dress everything. We gotta do a lot of preparation. Not a lot, but we have to do the pepperoni, the onion, the green pepper, the cheese and the sauce, and then we're throwing it in the oven. So why don't you guys join me over here I'm gonna leave this over here for a second. Slide this back in. All right, what you do with this is go like this. You shouldn't use all the pepperoni. And I like a place that overcooks their pizza a little bit so that the pepperoni's just kind of singed. Ew. Just kind of singed on the outside. Here's how you, you wanna slice it nice and thin so that can happen. All right, here's what's next. The mushrooms are sliced, the pepperoni's sliced, the green pepper's on deck. Eat. Try to do a clean cooking show, and this fell on the ground, so now I gotta wash it again. This floor is really clean anyhow, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, here's what we wanna do. We wanna slice this up in, uh, in little strips. We don't actually need this much, but. For some reason, green peppers always give me the runs a little bit. I like cutting my onion really thin for the pizza. I mean, you guys can obviously tell that like I am actually kind of gifted in the kitchen. It just doesn't look like it. This is just pizza sauce. I don't know how it differs from marinara sauce, and I'm not gonna ask Mike because, oh, I'm beat, sorry. I didn't know it was, I know how it differs now. It's not as thick. I think what you do here is grab a pretty cool spoon. And then they go like this. They just, oh, they make rings. Anyways, we don't want it to fall over the side or anything like that. Um, okay, it's cool. You want to leave about a half inch for crust. And that's totally lame. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, that's lame, but whatever. And I'm going to put the, uh, the onions on now. This is the best part. You just kind of sprinkle them all over. Mushroom got in there, but we're, we're moving on to pepperoni. Yeah. Make sure you get all the skin off, you guys. Freaking packages. You guys, what you want to do, if you want to pretend, if you want to pretend this was just yours and that you did it, that you didn't ever get it out of a bag, you just put it in there. It's like, ah. Oh. You actually got to put it in one of those big tubs. You know, and like go in there and just grab it out and you're like, they kind of just go like this. They just sprinkle it on. I don't think it's supposed to sound that hard. There never, there's, there's never sounds like that. It's like. <laughs> okay, so when it's like that, you just blow off the extra stuff. And I always see them go like this, right before they put it in the oven. Obviously, their oven doesn't have racks, but they're like this. They like lean it over and give it a quick little hummer. Like... <laughs> so, now that I did that, we can put it in. Um, all right, we're gonna put it in, and you guys are gonna take a break, and when you come back, we'll pull this thing out of the oven, we'll see how it is, and uh, 
We might even eat this because everything is clean and everything's washed. So please don't go away. Come back and see how this thing turns out, even though it's not perfectly circular. Welcome back to Half Baked. You guys, we gotta yank the pizza out of the oven. It should be fine. Everything I cook is fine. Everything I cook is just pretty much eh. It's like, <laughs> that's why I got the knee pads on. You guys, this looks pretty good. I don't know if the dough is all the way done because this was serious pizza dough. I normally cook with like bobbly pizza dough. Um, but it looks, it looks pretty, looks pretty raw in there. Let's, uh, let me show you how to cut this. I don't know, I'm gonna have to sharpen this really quick if I met. Where's that sweet, uh, Never mind. No, it's cool, James is going to get it. There's like, on the back of this, um, on the back of this opener, there's a, there's a knife sharpener that didn't work, but I'm sure it'll work for pizza cutters. It's like, I'm sure it's totally sharp now. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, that worked. <laughs> All right, you guys, here's how you do it. Like, you gotta be a little bit pissed off when you do it. It's like, uh, it's like, they like hit it so hard when they hit it, they're like, whoa, whoops, sorry. I kind of messed it up. All right, um, you go like that, and then you just roll it through. Again, I've messed up an awesome meal. So, you guys, here's how you cut it if you do it slowly. So, that's it from Half Baked. You guys, we're out of here. Thanks for watching pizza. See ya. Bye. Quality. Can't believe that I did that.